Time for that morning rush. We start with news happening today. UNM's Board of Regents set to meet to hear proposed budget cut recommendations that could eliminate some sports programs. According to the university, men's soccer, men's and women's skiing, and beach volleyball are all on the list of cut recommendations made by the university president and the athletic director. The cuts come as the athletic department has to pay the university back nearly $5 million in order to stay afloat. If the recommendations are approved by the regions, the cuts would go into effect July 1st, 2019. This morning, a family staying at a popular local hotel is left without their belongings after they say their dream vacation turned into a nightmare when someone stole from inside their hotel room. The Weinrich family says they were staying at the Wyndham Hotel off Carlisle and I-40. They left their room to go swimming. When they came back, they say $1,000 worth of their belongings were gone. The family posted about the incident on Facebook. They quickly found out they weren't the only ones who'd been victimized at that same hotel. APD is now investigating. One person still remains in critical condition this morning following a horrific bus crash on I-25 north of Bernalillo just four days ago. That crash claiming the lives of three victims. The Sandoval County Sheriff's Office released their identities. They are 65-year-old Maria de los Angeles, 58-year-old Olga Hernandez de Grajeda, and 70-year-old Maria Orantia Camacho, all from Colorado. The crash happened when a car rear-ended a truck, causing a chain reaction of crashes involving a bus and a semi. Kristen. As far as today goes, when it comes to the storm chances, like yesterday, northern and western New Mexico, and we're talking the high country, you have the best chance of seeing those spotty storms isolated, if anything at all, within the central and eastern locations. The heat will be the bigger story across the state. Crystal? Details for you this morning. Despite a staggering 42 murders so far this year, Mayor Tim Keller says not all crime is on the rise. Mayor Keller does admit, though, violent crime is up. But taking a look at other crime stats, he says in the first six months of 2018 compared to 2017, robberies and burglaries both went down by 31 percent. Car theft dropped by 16 percent. Mayor Keller says police are using more bait cars to bring that number down even more. On to new details now. President Trump now says he personally blames Russian President Vladimir Putin for Russia meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. The president made the remark in an exclusive interview with CBS Evening News anchor Jeff Glor. President Trump also told Glor he warned Putin not to interfere in future elections. On to new news this morning. Two teens bitten yesterday in what appears to be shark attacks in the water off New York's Fire Island. The incidents happened less than five miles apart, leading to beach closures there. What appeared to be a shark tooth was removed from the leg of one of the victims, a 13-year-old boy. A 12-year-old boy was also bitten, or girl, I should say, was also bitten. The State Department of Environmental Conservation will identify if the bites definitively came from sharks. Beginning as early as next year, CNM students may be using a different kind of currency to cover their tuition. Cryptocurrency, kind of like Bitcoin, a CNM faculty member is leading the way on this. He says using cryptocurrency is like using a bank just without the bank, hoping to make the process easier. As for what happens if the cryptocurrency crashes, he says that's not going to be a problem since all of the school's transactions will be done in real time. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index at a three, just looking at a stray storm possible, not widespread and not all day. Hot temperatures too. Albuquerque forecast high 98 degrees this afternoon underneath that mostly sunny sky. Crystal? New life may soon be coming to Albuquerque's rail yard. This, as the city says, they have told the rail yard advisory board they have an application in with the New Mexico's Environment Department to see what needs to be done to begin the cleanup. The director of the city's planning department says they're working on figuring out where other improvements can be made. We'll let you know what happens there. Sarah. Albuquerque's newest elementary charter school is picking up the tab on school supplies for their students this year. Alturta Preparatory School says they will provide each one of its students with free pencils, crayons, markers, glue, folders, binders, paper, and other most needed items. In addition, every child will have access to their own Apple MacBook for use both at the school and at home. The founders say they've done a lot of budgeting and received state and federal grants to be able to provide these schools to their students. Kristen? Time now for a check on that Thursday morning commute. Nothing major out there on the map. We are clean and green on both I-40 and I-25. Looking at the big eye, things are moving smoothly. We will let you know as soon as that changes.
Okay, parents, listen up. Kids are helping clean the Gila National Forest for a chance to pay for college. It's not too late for your kiddo to get involved. Each year, the Conservation Corps of New Mexico facilitates projects for young men and women to be more involved in nature. After completing a project, students can then apply for scholarship money through the foundation. For more information on how you can get involved, just follow the link at alwaysonkrqe.com. One Albuquerque man using unconventional art to bring the community together. William Geis built two couches for the 2018 New Mexico Arts Project, TIME, also known as TIME, that stands for Temporary Installations Made for the Environment. One couch has a flat back and represents the plains. The other represents the mountains, specifically Hermit Peak. The art display runs to the end of August in Las Vegas, New Mexico. How cool is that? 6.53, now wanted to start with the time lapse from our camera out in Timbron. As I put this into motion, you can see just a few clouds streaming over the mountains, but a nice looking start to the day. And we're going to continue with a mix of the sunshine and cloud cover over the next several hours. 89 degrees by lunch in the metro, 98 degrees as a forecast high. It's going to be toasty across the entire state. We've got temperatures above normal. That means 90s and low 100s widespread across New Mexico with a few spotty storms left over the northern and western mountain area. As everybody else, it's a 10% chance or less for those storm chances today. Same thing as we get you into Friday, but early next week with the cold front coming in Sunday, Monday, we could be looking at a better chance for storms and showers. So hopefully some more relief on the way. But as you can see, the heat continues through at least the start of the weekend. All right, time for the five facts now. Let's roll into number five. Breaking Bad fans, listen up. You now have a chance to revisit the show and help a great cause in the process. Actors Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston teamed up with Omaze.com to make a short film. Here's a breakdown. Paul visits the famous Breaking Bad RV where he finds Cranston unable to move past the show's glory days. The video brings attention to their new campaign that's giving away a chance to cook with them in the RV in L.A. Donations go toward the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the Kind Campaign. Oh, that'll be a memory, huh? I'm all about it. Yeah, I like it. Number four, here's something interesting. Beginning as early as next year, as CNM students may be using a different kind of currency to cover their tuition. The currency called cryptocurrency. It's like Bitcoin. A CNM faculty member leading the way in this pilot program says using cryptocurrency is like using a bank just without the bank. He hopes the use of electronic currency will make the admission process easier. Students on campus seem to have mixed feelings about this. Some worried about the system crashing. He says that's not going to be a problem since all of the school's transactions will be done in real time. At number three, a final check on that seven-day forecast is isolated storms possible today and tomorrow, but not a guarantee. Temperatures are going to be hot for the next several days, upper 90s from now through the end of the weekend. As mentioned earlier, that cold front bringing in more moisture, better rain chances Monday, Tuesday with a slight drop in temperatures. On to number two now. We're talking about new crime stats here. Despite a staggering 42 murders so far this year, Mayor Tim Keller says not all crime is on the rise. Mayor Keller does admit violent crime is up, but take Taking a look at other crime stats, Keller says in the first six months of 2018 compared to 2017, robberies and burglaries both went down by 31 percent, car theft dropped by 16 percent. Mayor Keller says police are using more bait cars to bring that number down even further. On to number one now, we're continuing to watch big breaking news from last night. UNM's Board of Regents set to meet today to hear proposed budget cut recommendations. If they're approved, that could get rid of several university sports. Here's what we know so far about this. According to the university, men's soccer, men's and women's skiing, and beach volleyball are all on the list of cut recommendations made by the university president and the athletic director. The proposal also includes cutting spots on the men's cross-country team and the indoor and outdoor track teams and even phasing out the diving team. The cuts come as the athletic department has to pay UNM back nearly $5 million after borrowing for things like coach payouts and lower than expected revenues. If approved, the cuts would go into effect July 2019.